Just doing a little teardown on a war tray, uh, 200 amp hour lithium phosphate battery I purchased on Timu. I got for about $115 after uh, credits. The discharge test was done at 11 amps. Uh, it got 184 amp hours. It's supposed to be rated for 200. Um, I popped the top off the battery, which wasn't too hard. Um, sorry, there's not a lot of room in here. Um, I have it on the charger right now. Um, the BMS is just kind of sitting on this uh, fiber board here. Um, it's got welded cells. All the connections are uh, bolted and laser welded. The wires up to the negative and positive terminals are pretty secure. The negatives are two number sixes, the positives are number two. Um, I'll throw the QR code information from the cells um, in the video. Um, well, they're testing out pretty on par with what the stickers say on them. So the uh, the stickers on the cells are correct. It's just they're you know advertising as a 200 amp hour pack, and it's not really. It's 184 amp hours. Uh, this bus bar here is pretty thin, so it bends when you lift the lid off. Um, they're taped together. There's some foam in between each cells. Um, they're not really in here with anything, you know, holding them in or glue or anything. I can take the uh, I can take this foam out here. Um, hold on. There, I can take the foam out, and you can see the sides of the cells. There's nothing actually like gluing them in place. I can move the entire pack here. Um, the uh, BMS is just sat on top. Um, there's no like nothing protecting the wires. There's no loom. Everything's just kind of done with uh, press foam. So that's kind of my review of the you know build quality here as far as the Cells go, they look like they're new. I mean, they don't have any visible damage on them. Um, I've got a heat gun here, and I've got the temperature sensor, which isn't on the battery. They just have it, um, just have it capped on taped to this piece of fiber board, so it's not actually touching anything. Um, but if I turn my heat gun on, if I turn my heat gun on and have it aimed at the temperature sensor, it should turn off if I don't melt this foam. Oh, there it goes. So it turns off. It, uh, seems to recover pretty fast. I don't know, a couple of seconds. Um, I've stuck it in some water here. It's not a very good setup for this. So if I stick the sensor here in some water. BMS looks okay. I mean, I, I'd like it to have some more protection besides just like a piece of, you know, board sitting on top of the cells, maybe securing it in some way or placing on the sides or something. 
but when I did open it, it was in there pretty good. Like I couldn't see it moving around with all the foam and everything. It's just, it's sitting on top of all the BMS leads, which isn't the world's best. Um, yeah, I have a cup of ice water here. I don't think it has low temperature protection. Um, yeah, so that's kind of my tear down. It does, you know, seem like the wires are pretty good. The welds look good. The cells look good. I just think the construction could be dialed in a little more. And probably the temperature sensor mounted somewhere where it could actually like read the temperature of cells instead of the fiber board, which, you know, they probably don't need to be measuring the temperature of. But yeah, it doesn't seem to have low temperature protection. That's the model of the BMS. It says it can do 200 amps. I haven't tried it. Um, I don't really have a way to test 200 amps, so uh, that's where I'm at. Thank you.